So in my little lab I had this uh, Siemens 5SY41 mini circuit breaker. It's a C characteristic 6 ampere single pole uh, circuit breaker. Uh, I have been using this uh, in the wrong way as I used it to power on and off the power to my lab when I left it. And today it uh, would not turn on. So I got to think that as these are not made for switching on and off power, it could be that they built in some mechanism to, uh, let's say, w when you have switched this a uh, hundred times, it would just not work anymore. Maybe there's some small mechanical throw or something like that. Uh, it's all uh, riveted together, so I will take it apart and let's see what's inside. So with the uh, mini circuit breaker taking apart, uh, we can see the lid over here, and we ha have all the uh, mechanical and electrical components in the other side. We have the input terminal here. We have a uh, piece of bimetal, uh, which will be used for over current trip over a long time, where it simply heats up too much, it will bend and cut the connection. Uh, down here we have the sorge uh, current switch. If a huge current goes through the switch, it uh, just acts as a regular electromagnet, at n and the coil of this, or the the iron core of this coil, will simply uh, be pushed up and throw the switch to uh, the off position. In between here we have a arc flash um, dampener. It's simply a a lot of isolated pieces of metal. So if a arc flash occurs inside the breaker, the energy will be dissipated between all these metal plates. And it can suck up quite a lot of energy before anything leaving the breaker itself. It can really contain up to, I think this breaker is rated for 35 kiloamps. If we take a look at the, what the problem is with this not turning on, if I turn on the breaker, as you can see right here, the arm does not touch the, uh, the other copper connector. And it is at least by 2 millimeters uh, gap. And I cannot seem to um, really physically push the arm down to the to connect, so I'm not quite sure what went wrong inside this unit, because it seems to function right. I can trip it from the uh, sort current. Okay, this is the connector for uh, more switches in parallel. We don't really need that. And I can also yeah turn it off from uh, the front side. But there does not seem to be anything wrong with the small mechanical uh, plastic parts up here that they should be able to interlock in some other way. So I'm not too sure where this, uh, how this got defective. It should be that there has been a uh, a cut from, as you can see, as from the mark over here. That simply cut out and bent this uh, copper piece, but that's highly unlikely. I'm a little bit puzzled uh, what went wrong here. So uh, post a comment if you know uh, what could be the reason for this. Thank you for watching.